Hola bueno, chicos, ¿cómo están? Bueno, el día de hoy va a ser algo súper simple lo que voy a hacer. Desde ahora en adelante vamos a poner esto para que ustedes tengan una idea y sepan lo que pasa con mi canal. Entonces, lo más importante cuando empiezan a ver el video, ya saben, si quieren recibir notificaciones y quieren que mi canal siga creciendo y ustedes lo sigan disfrutando tanto como yo, por favor hagan esto, suscríbanse y aprieten la campana arriba porque YouTube ha cambiado sus políticas hace mucho tiempo y si no hacen esto, no van a recibir mis notificaciones o mis videos nuevos, entonces teniendo la campanita activa van a poder recibir mis notificaciones, así que nada chicos, eso más que todo, los quiero mucho, cuídense, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten bajo el video y los veo pronto, aprieten la campana, no se olviden. Hola chicos, bueno, ¿cómo están? Bueno, está, estoy devolviéndome al, a la misión que quedamos, eh, que era subir al campanario, eh, ahora sinceramente no veo nada, uno, y dos, estoy ebriamente borracho, eh... O sea, no sé si es realmente borracho, pero borracho sí. <ríe> y me están diciendo que suba al campanario, pero... ¿Por dónde? Es la pregunta, ¿no? Ese es el campanario. No veo la forma. Ah, podría ser acá. Recién la vi. No me había dado cuenta. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> 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 This is wonderful. Huh. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo supongo que con todo lo que he hecho me gané la confianza. Priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Ok Sigo ebrio Y herido Y qué onda Pero... Ya, me gané la confianza de él. Me la gané. Eso es bueno. Hey, 
Hmm. Oh, stay on in my head. Oh, my God. My poor suffering stomach. Oh. What was that woman on about? Wait, before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you. You can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. And then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. Flawless. <coughs> oh. Hmm. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Ahí ya me va a soltar si yo cumplo con esto. Make any promises about what will happen? No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubo. Christ Almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Eh, yo primero necesito comer algo. No puedo estar... O sea, estoy herido a la mierda, pero... Ya estoy mejor. Comer algo me va a ayudar igual a sanar heridas. ¿no? Como les digo, estoy un poco herido, pero nada del otro mundo. Ahora, debería ponerme todas mis cosas... Supongo. Son trapos sucios, pero... Tengo que ver qué es lo que me falta, pero bueno, no me falta nada. Estoy bien. Ahora, no me acuerdo tanto de lo que predicó. No sé, no sé si me van a preguntar exactamente... No sé si me van a preguntar exactamente lo que predicó. Ni yeah. idea. Walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, we throw up. Hmm. 
Jesus, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, Amanus Suas. Hac facite in meam commemorationem. No, no, I don't have any again. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scholars, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Yo creo que va a ser como... <laughs> As you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. Supongo que van a ir preguntando y tengo que ir respondiendo con tiempo. Vamos a ver. Supongo. Menos dos. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my words how she is falling into decay and abandon, how the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. How ah, well, what to preach about the church? Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> it is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague... Humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. And it is all due to um, the corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travelers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Eh... Uh... Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? 
They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the frillets. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Why, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Salió you bien? No sé. Have you no shame, you pair of buffoons? I'll be writing to the bishop of this. For shame. Utterly blasphemous. Can you believe such behavior? For men of the cloth to get drunk at King's Church. So. No, aquí lo que hay que hacer es volver a hacer esto. Porque. Hay que volver a hacerlo. Yo creo que esto va por más por el ataque. No, no creo que vaya más por lo otro. Aquí vamos a ir así. No voy a esperar. O sea, a ver. Yo creo que partí mal. No puedo partir con... con ¿Cómo se llama? Con el, con el tema de ser como benevolente No, eso no sirve Aquí hay que atacar nomás Que es lo que creo que me acordaba Ahora recién me acabo de acordar No, no me acordaba de esa mierda Voy a saltarme todo el video de presentación Pero es que no vale la pena Vamos a seguirnos directamente Brothers and sisters let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, as a cheek. Just as we are commanded to obey the priests in matters of virtue, so are we commanded to defy them face to face if they live contrary to God's commandments. Hear that, Godwin? It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, humans, hunger, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver, they show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For well, shame. Shame upon them. It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. 
for there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right! Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Mm. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates! Away with them! We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin! At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you, and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Oi! All honor to Godwin! Let him drink like one of us! I, I see him as a Amen. Eso fue bueno, ¿ven? ¿eh? Era más, más alegato, o sea, y menos, pre, menos prejuicio. O sea, más como hablar sin tapón, ¿no? spoke well considering what a soak he is he's right that was the young man shouldn't drink so much but the lord's given him a Your silver tongue i don't suppose i'll ever get to prague but i told him nicely <laughs> well well my boy you <laughs> and i can't deny it and you pulled a thorn from my side I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I'm right. The only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pious. Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tanker with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. If anyone should ask, if you heard nothing from me, I'll deny everything. I don't doubt hmm. it.
<ríe> Quiero ver qué es lo que falta, así de rastro de la mano. Bueno chicos, yo creo que eso va a ser por hoy, la verdad que ir hasta allá es bastante lejos. Eh... Hey, watch it. Y igual necesito como que dormir. Y se han actualizado algunas misiones. Bueno, ha sido toda una noche de mierda porque al final... Bueno, ha valido la pena. Quiero ver si ya se actualizó todo. Eh, por lo menos aquí ya no hay nada. O sea, ya lo sacamos todo. Eh, esto de acá es una visión secundaria. Eh, después tenemos... Claro, aquí me gustaría ir realmente viajar en, en un viaje rápido, se lo juro. Entonces yo creo que lo último que voy a hacer, que ya me estoy dando cuenta, es que no... Ya no está marcado como robado, así que voy a vender eso y se acabaría el, el episodio, la verdad. Eh, voy a ir al negociante, que está no está tan lejos de aquí. Eh, y el tema de dormir, como les digo, ya lo dejo para después. Ahora no. Solamente quiero vender lo que tengo ahí. Que es acá, si no me equivoco. Si, sí, este es el negociante, si no me equivoco. Necesito eh, bajar la capacidad, o sea, el sobrepeso que tengo. Si no, el viaje rápido no, no va a poder ser hecho, o sea, no, no va a tener sentido común del, de la mierda. Ahora, tengo flechas diferentes eh, debería tal vez vender esto y solamente quedarme con con algunas cosas no ahora el tema es que ah no me he puesto nada a ver voy a voy a vender esto y voy a equiparme con las cosas que tengo eh, para poder saber qué es lo que no tengo que vender Eh, es más o menos yo creo que esa y eso esto tiene uno ya lo voy a usar igual pero no debería lo que problema es que tengo ocho, o sea tengo solamente 88 de de capacidad y hay cosas que debería, bueno, deshacerme Solamente quiero hacer esto Y ya está Sí eh, Cuatro Eso voy a vender esto de acá Diez Esto es mucho mejor ¿no? Voy a vender eso y me va a quedar con, con el otro. Le eh, voy a vender eso, voy a vender eso. Y ese es el que me voy a usar para ponerlo. Y aún así sigo teniendo sobrepeso. Entonces tal vez el vino salga y me quede con cuatro solamente. Eh, esto pesa bastante, en serio, la forja. Ahora no la voy a vender. Tengo 10 ganzúas, es bastante. Y tengo, bueno, tengo el arco común que pega muchísimo. Y el arco de frenzo del lugareño, que yo creo que se lo voy a vender también. Ahora el escudo, no creo que lo deje, la verdad. No sé. Voy a vender eso mientras. Y ver. Ah, bueno, ya no tengo no tengo sobrecapacidad, así que estoy bien. Y solamente voy a hacer ya, como les dije, lo último. Quiero dormir eh, para guardar la partida, si no, no voy a poder guardar. Pero ya no tengo sobrepeso, así que... Ya con eso podríamos viajar un viaje rápido y es más fácil. 
Eh, voy a pagarle por la noche. Porque si no, no me va a dejar pasar. Haz un sitio. Have you got a bed for the night? I suppose I could find something. For how long? Just the one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Tengo, tengo mucha plata en este momento. Here you are. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. Y... Sería eso. Ahora me va a dejar pasar porque ya le pagué. Y ya no debería haber problema con dormir. O sea, mientras que uno le, mientras que tú le pagues no, no vas a tener problema. Y dos monedas de oro no es nada. Ahora, no necesito dormir más de una hora. Una hora es suficiente. Ahora, mi salud pareciera que no se va a recuperar tanto tampoco. Necesitaría como que dormir un poco más, tal vez. Se recuperó un poco. Entonces voy a dormir un poquito más. Voy a dormir tres horas y ver qué es lo que pasa con la salud. Y ya después no me van a dejar dormir, así que... No puedo andar tampoco con, con poca salud. Cincuenta y ocho por ciento de salud. Bueno, está más decente que ya no puedo dormir más. Bueno, así que nada chicos, eso va a ser por el día. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten los videos, compartan el canal y los vemos.